Hey everybody, she have nobody else's auto. Out checking out another yard tonight. A friend of mine's place. He's not open to the public, but we've, he's allowed me to do some videos in here and share some of this stuff with you. Stop by here a few times a year. It's in a completely different environment than where my stuff is at. This is in a pretty moist area with a lot of trees, which means there's a lot of rust. So I get a few bits and pieces of sheet metal out of here, but for the most part, the bodies and structure wise, a lot of these vehicles are pretty rough. And a lot of them have been fairly stripped because this yard's been here for decades. So, but it's always fun to share some of this stuff with you. Even though a lot of this stuff is rough, there's some neat stuff in here you don't see very often. Even though it's really not savable, I still get a lot of bits and pieces off some of this stuff. So let's check a few more of them out. Right here buried in the trees, you can start off with a 1960 Chevy. This is a basic four-door sedan, black, probably a Biscayne, maybe a Bel Air. Looks like it is a Bel Air, I think. But that's what you see in here, just a lot of buried stuff. We'll work our way around to the front of that as we go around this 1956 Buick station wagon. <clears throat> Definitely not a car you see every day. However, this car did have an interior fire years ago, probably why it ended up in here. But like we talked about, a lot of rust in this area. We can see that there literally is no bottom of the tailgate. The whole thing is gone. And then, of course, with this have had a fire years ago, nothing left on the inside. And then that left bare metal, which rusted even quicker. Still a unique car that you really don't see very often, but obviously this one's pretty rough. Here's the 1960 Bel Air four-door we were just looking at from the backside. And once again, inside this car, a lot of stuff missing already off of it. A lot of these cars end up getting stripped. Because they've been in here for so long. Here's one you don't see every day. A Chevette scooter. Yep, who remembers a Chevette scooter? I kind of barely remember that name. Obviously, I've heard of a Chevette. But there again... It's been here for a long time. It's heavily weathered. And even some people grab parts off this old Chevette over time. A little duster right back in here, sandwiched behind the Buick wagon and the Chevette. Obviously, somebody's already got a lot of bits and pieces off of this one for sure. There's the front of the old International we had in a video a little bit ago. We'll check out the rest of that truck on another, on another video. Buried back in the trees, the old Oldsmobile. The Delta 88. That old car's been there for a really, really, really long time. You see how deep in the trees that is? How buried it is back in there? We can't even hardly get to it. little dart little two-door dodge dart once again it's been fairly heavily stripped just kind of like the duster and there's the back of our chevette come around the front of the dart check this out it's still got the v8 in it but look it's got some company in the engine compartment the tree has literally grown up right between the firewall, the engine, and the master cylinder, and has grown around the master cylinder, and even around the clip for the cap. Kind of crazy how nature overtakes some of this stuff. And it's back in the trees deep. So there's a few more you can check out. Like I said, this place is cool, but a lot of rust and very little stuff that's complete. 
but I still love sharing some of it with you. Some of the stuff like the Buick wagon, you just don't see that stuff sitting around anymore. So glad I was able to take a few minutes. Glad he lets me share some of this stuff with you. It's always fun to do. If you got any questions, just give me a shout, 620-786-4428. And uh, if about this or any of the other stuff that, uh, you know, I may have in my inventory to help you out with your project. So neat stuff. I get by here a couple times a year. Always enjoy stopping by and seeing my friend. Glad he lets me share this stuff with you, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Stay tuned. A lot more cool stuff coming.